That's right, but we have covered at least 10 deadly hit and run crashes so far this year. And tonight, Brennan Hawkins name is added to the growing list of people that have been killed by hit and run crashes. I spoke with his father who tells me that this is just devastating. And tonight he wants answers and people to pay attention to the road. Hurt, angry, confused. Say it. Those are Lanois Wright's emotions after waking up to the news. A driver took his 24 year old son's life. I love him and I miss him. And I just wish that it wouldn't have never happened because it's too soon for him to go. We got two kids. Brendan was a father to a little boy and girl. St. Petersburg police say a driver in a faded red Honda or Hyundai turned onto the southbound lane of 37th Street. Brendan's motorcycle hit the back right side of the car and slid to the curb. It's going to take me a minute to get through this. I know I ain't going to bounce right back and act like ain't nothing happened because I ain't going to see him no more. In the last five years, Florida troopers say there have been more than a half million hit and run crashes that killed 1,037 people statewide. They don't care about nothing, nothing, and nobody. They ain't got no conscience. I don't know what's going on. Troopers say most deadly hit and run crashes happen at night, just like the one that killed Brendan. Coward. A coward. They just scared. I don't know if they were scared. They just turned, they felt it. They knew what they'd done. They knew what they'd done was wrong. And they just kept going. While the family waits for answers, they just hope someone with information will come forward. Whether they think they're gonna get away now, but you gotta still come forward, you're gonna pay for it. You're not gonna get away. You're not gonna get away from it. Whoever you are, you're not gonna get away. So, but that's what gave me peace. Now, St. P police do tell me that Brendan was traveling over the posted speed limit. He also was wearing a helmet. He died shortly after transport to Bayfront hospitals. Even still, though, his dad tells me that that driver had no excuse to leave his son here after the crash.